Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Maths. This is the specimen paper for 9231 Pure Mathematics 1 for the 2020 exam series question 2. It is given that phi of n equals 5 to the power of n times quantity 4n plus 1 minus 1 for n equals 1, 2, 3 ongoing. Prove by mathematical induction that phi of n is divisible by 8 for every positive integer n. Here we're going to use proof by induction, and in these scenarios we always want to begin with the same introductory phrasing. Let P sub K be the statement that for some value N equals K, and we'll follow with the required proof, 5 to the power of K times 4 times K plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 8. Next I evaluate the case when k equals 1. p sub 1 is 5 to the power of 1 times quantity 4 times 1 plus 1 minus 1 which simplifies to 24. 24 factors to 8 times 3 and this factor of 8 verifies the value is divisible by 8, and p sub 1 is true. Next I will set up k plus 1, which is 5 to the power of k plus 1 times quantity 4 times quantity k plus 1 plus 1 minus 1. This expression equals phi of k plus 1. Now what I'm going to do is set up phi of k plus 1 minus phi of k. We'll see why this expression is helpful at the end of the analysis. For now, let's set up this expression. We have 5 to the power of k plus 1 times 4 times quantity k plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus phi of k, which is the original expression given, replacing n with k. 5 to the power of k times 4 k plus 1 minus 1. I need to bracket the entire expression phi of k to ensure that I distribute the subtraction correctly. When I work through the algebra, I end up with the expression 8 times 5 to the power of k times quantity 2k plus 3. Now notice this expression is multiplied by 8, therefore it's divisible by 8. What I have on the left side of the equation is phi k plus 1 minus phi k. What I'm looking for is phi of k plus 1. So I need to add phi of k to both sides. Based on the factor of 8, the first term is divisible by 8. We've already shown that phi of k is divisible by 8, so I will write both terms divisible by 8. Therefore, p sub k leads to p sub k plus 1. And finally, I'll conclude with the standard conclusion phrase for induction proofs. Hence, since p sub 1 is true, and p sub k leads to p sub k plus 1, by mathematical induction, p sub n true for all. In this case, our requirement reads for every positive integer n, so for all n, greater than or equal to 1. This completes the requirements for question 2.